Hey guys, I'm Steven with Scenes in Nature, and today I've got Chip Stamper with me from the Missouri Taxidermy Institute, and he's going to show us how he uses nature's fiber to create moss on this turkey panel. But you can use these techniques for rocks or driftwood or any other materials that you may be using. Before we get started, Chip, why don't you tell us which product you'll be using? Uh, we're going to be using the Static King, and we're going to use as an adhesive this FiberTac, and we're going to use four millimeter dark green static fiber. Okay, great. And so what's the first step? We're going to load the static key. Okay, and so you mentioned that we're using four millimeter dark green. How do you choose which one you want to use? Well, on this particular uh, project we're doing today, we're just going to be doing accents of moss on here. So we want to go with the kind of the shorter fiber. I think it works better on small areas. And because of the dark color of the barn wood, I think that the dark green will look really nice. Okay. And so on other projects, what have, you, uh, what have you used before? Well, that's the great thing about this is we recently did a, a coyote uh, project in our shop. And on that one, um, we, it was a coyote that was flushing a wood duck. And the, the wood that we used to suspend the wood duck, uh, we put a big moss effect on that. And by doing so much moss on there, I opted to go for a, a little bit longer fiber. Uh, I went with the seven mil instead of the four. And I was also able to use the medium green uh, color because it matched so nicely some of the foliage that we put on this base. It turned out really great. And uh, the, the customer picked it up and just loved it. Um, he, was, he was just blown away, which ultimately is what we're after as, as commercial taxidermists. Um, so now that the Static King's full, what's the next step? We're gonna liberally apply our adhesive onto our base here. And I'm just gonna put this wherever I want my moss to go. And so as you're applying that, how do you decide where you want your moss? Well, that's a great thing about this, is uh, by, by using this as opposed to using just flat moss that we glue down, I can come in here and I can follow the contours of, say, this knot hole. Or if I was working on a piece of driftwood, I'd follow the contour of that piece of wood. Or same thing is true with a rock. And it really makes it kind of nice. We can get a lot nicer effect. I'm going to put a little bit down here, too, just to show this. And this is everywhere I want my moss to go. So you really make this up as you go. And it's, it's kind of fun. You have a chance to be really creative with this. So now that the glue's on there, the next step is just to apply the moss. So you're just going to, to set the anchor on there? And I am. Turn the Static King over? I'm right? going to set it right over here like this. OK. And as I flip my Static King over, I'm going to turn it on and go ahead and apply the moss. All right, so as he's doing this, you can tell that he's staying within three inches, which is going to allow the Static King to work optimally so that the static fibers go on there really dense. And now we're done. It's that simple. One thing that we forgot to mention is we're going to use our fiber vac to clean up all the excess so that we can get any stuff that's not in the adhesive off of there. So I'm going to go ahead and hand this to, to Chip. One thing that's really nice about the fiber vac is that you can save all that excess and be able to reuse it. Now if your work's going to be displayed in an area where it might be handled, use habitat adhesive and sprayer to secure the fibers. All right, so now that we got this all cleaned up, this really looks great. Um, so Chip, since you're here, I'm just curious to know what it is that you like about Scenes in Nature and how it's impacting your work. Well, I, I know in our shop, and we've been able to take the, our, our base work to a to whole other level. We've made our bases look so much better than we have in the past. And I think we're just scratching the surface with this, actually. I think when uh, there's so many talented taxidermists out there right now, and I think when they get their hands on these, I think that some of the things we see are just going to blow people away. Um, I'm really excited about where this is going to go. And I know in, in my experience in the school, I've been able to introduce this to my students. And I've been really surprised how quickly they picked it up and, and how they've taken to it and, and have done some really, really neat pieces. Again, I can't thank you enough for coming down and, and uh, taking, spending some of your time with us uh, to show us how that you're using our products. Do you have any final remarks that you want to make? Just that this is a great product and, and I, I appreciate you getting to come in and, and use it. As always, thanks for watching. Um, be sure to, to follow us on Facebook, uh, follow us on Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see more videos. And of course, go to scenesinnature.com to learn more about these and other products. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Chip.